Hey, it's Gil at Close Call Sports. CPBL just started playing their season. Already we have a fight. I know you want to see the brawl, so I'm going to get right to it. Minimal narration and talking only for rules-related situations because that's what we do here. Let's watch the video. Context is everything, and that's why we're watching this part. It's the top of the fourth inning. A ground out with the bases loaded. Not a big deal, but wait, the other team says that the bat had too much pine tar on it. You right? might remember this from the 1983 pine tar game when home plate umpire Tim McClellan called Kansas City Royals player George Brett out after Brett hit a home run, but he had too much pine tar on his bat. Brett went crazy, stormed out of the dugout, big deal. The rules committee, the very next year, said, we can't let this happen again. They actually made a new rule as a result of the George Brett play. The new rule states, if the umpire discovers the bat does not conform to C above, which is the pine tar 18-inch rule, until a time during or after which the bat has been used in play, it shall not be grounds for declaring the batter out or ejected from the game. The only thing you're allowed to do in the modern game is say you're not allowed to use the bat anymore. Remove the bat from play. You're not allowed to declare the guy out, and you cannot take a home run or any other result of the play off the board. It's really not an appeal. It used to be an appeal play. It's not an appeal anymore because the only thing that happens is the umpire orders the bat to be removed from the game. Theoretically, you can have an ejection if the guy refuses to comply with the umpire's order, but it's not an ejection on the pine tar rule, then it becomes an ejection for failing to listen to the umpire's order to do or refrain from doing something. Different rule. But we need to paint the context because, as T Mac says, it all starts with someone complaining about the way the other team's equipment looks. I just want to note the home plate umpire Lin Jin, a 2000 game veteran of the CBPL, is on the horn with his supervisor on the walkie talkie just to make sure that he's going to remove the bat from play and nothing else. That's the correct call. But it's going to set the tone because it annoys the other team and they're going to get retaliation. Good old fashioned beanball style. Yes. Sosa deals inside. To the second baseman, Goya. And that's two that are a little bit inside, a little close for comfort for Goya. When you don't really want to get hit by any pitches above 145 kilometers an hour. Yeah, that's the biggest feature of Sosa. He has a very fast fastball. Yeah, he seems to be having a little bit of trouble with location. Not done anything so far this season. Yeah, I can sense your sarcasm <laughs> there. <laughs> He's only hit about 17 home runs in two games. Yeah. In retrospect, it might have been a good idea to warn both teams here. Is there any problem down there? It seems like um, the monkey's dugout does have a problem with something that's going on right now. And catcher Lin is hot right now. I stopped the video because I need to make this really important point. I'm doubling down. You have to warn here. This is a different culture in Taiwan, and it might not be as vital there because they don't have beanball wars like we do in the States. But if this happens over here and you don't warn, you are going to have a bench clearing brawl. The reason I say this is because here's your clue. The game stopped. The batter and the catcher had to be separated by the plate umpire. The catcher addressed the opposing dugout, who in turn was yelling about intentionally pitching at a batter. You have to address this with a warning because the pitcher threw at the batter three times. You know what's going to happen on the ball four pitch. Speaking of which, let's watch. And I also want you to listen to the commentators and see how familiar they are with how baseball works. Well, one, would hope, one would hope, Jackie, that they're not arguing that these fastballs are too close for comfort for Goya and Wen. As Sosa's ready to take on the whole team and the bench is clear, bats are getting thrown back away from the danger. 
Now, this is exactly what the monkeys were yelling at in the third pitch. And then yeah. I think Sosa took that one to heart, and then he hit Goyem Wen between the numbers with the fourth one. And there are some tempers exploding out there right now. I think it's because of the previous argument with the bat. And I think Guo Yanwen was the one who raised the argument against the, the Guardians. So that's why. Very well said, Jackie. And if, if that's the case, you know, for our international viewers, you need to understand that this never really happens in the CPBL. Yeah. It's usually a very conservative league. They don't even argue balls and strikes or outs, you know, very often. Um, and for this to happen right now, um, this, can I say it's quite exciting? Yeah, it is really exciting here, but just like what Wen said, it is a rare happening in the CPBL. It happened before, but it's not as often as the MLB or other leagues. Good catch on that one, Jackie. Good catch on the fact that Goya Wen might have been the guy that was complaining about the bat when it was Lin, Lin Zhushen was up at the plate, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, 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 good observation. For how wrong the commentators were about the intent of Sosa's pitches, they are spot on in telling the story of what happened. Sosa thought that this batter that he threw at four times and finally hit him on the fourth, they thought the batter was responsible for the pine tar pointing out in the previous half inning, and he retaliated by hitting him with a pitch. Remember, Sosa is not part of this Taiwanese culture. He's from the Americas, and as someone from the Americas, he's used to solving problems by throwing at people. That's what they do here for some stupid reason, and that's why umpires have to take care of business when they do it. And because of the culture clash, that's probably why the umpire in this situation, who is from the CPBL and is a 2,000-plus game veteran of that league, didn't respond with an ejection. He issued warnings, but that was it. That's all that happened. And in the CPBL, that's... Good enough. Here it's not, but there it is. Right there, where Guo pointed his bat at catcher Lin. And the catcher Lin didn't like that at all. He jumped up right away, and that was when it was 3 and all. So then maybe Sosa's also picking up for his catcher in this point at this point as well, because there was no doubt what he was trying to do with that fourth pitch. Now, this is only the fourth inning. So yeah. this, this could get pretty interesting, I mean, in terms of... Um, Retaliation and yeah, everything e after that. Exactly. And, you know, like, like we say to the international viewers, this, this, this does happen in this league. Exactly. But it happens very, very rarely. If this was MLB and nothing happened to the pitcher, the manager would blow a gasket. So the monkey but manager is this, still the CPBL the, uh, operates uh, differently, and it works the for the CPBL. To the manager. Over here, you best warn and eject. But uh, he didn't throw him out right now, so uh, it's too late for that. We need to get on with the game.